I'd say, you know, in the beginning, you just kind of want to ride around in a parking lot. But the problem is, when you're riding at slow speeds, when you're riding at slow speeds like this, there's no counter steering. What I mean by that is, I turn to the right and I go to the right, as you can see here. I'm doing a little circle to the right and I'm turning to the right. So you think to yourself, oh, okay, you turn to the right, you go right, and then you turn to the left, and you go left, and you think, okay, I, I'm getting the hang of this. But it's uh, deceptive, because once your speed gets above, like, 20 kilometers an hour, 10 miles an hour, 15 miles an hour, like now, at this speed, if I turn to the right, the bike actually goes to the left. I'll prove this by taking my left hand off entirely, and then with my right hand, I'll show you that I'm only going to pull, and by pulling, it's going to turn to the right, right? Okay, here, watch this. Left hand off, right hand is pulling, and the bike, it goes to the left. This is called counter steering. I have a video on it, which I'll link to now. Okay, so anyways, so the point is, you need to, when you're experimenting with riding a scooter for the very first time, you need to fiddle with, experiment with the, with the feel of the steering, which is similar to a bicycle, at slow speeds. And then you gotta speed up a little bit, not fast, but like tw over 20 kilometers an hour, which is, I don't know how many miles an hour, but like higher than 20 kilometers an hour or 15 kilometers an hour. And then again, try to experiment, just, just slightly, just with like changing lanes and stuff. And you'll notice it's, it's, it's different than at lower speeds. Um, the back brake is stable. You can go at high speeds and then you can lock it up on dirt and you can just you can just like do a little skid out there, slide sideways. It's, it's fun, it's easy. If I were to lock the front brake, oh, <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> you drop the scooter and it stalls and probably floods again. And this bird is bullying my dog. Don't bully my dog! You heard me. <laughs> my poor scooter. Yeah, it's, it's flooded again. Yeah, so there you go. Like, like that's what I'm saying. Like, especially if you're on grass, dirt, gravel, you need to use the rear brake more to present your, prevent yourself from like locking up the front like I just did and sliding out and dropping the bike. Scooter, bike, whatever. It's two wheels. Technically, it falls into a bike classification. It's two wheels with a motor. Technically, it's a motorbike. Um. Uh, yeah. What am I saying? But like I said, it's, it's, it, a scooter is fairly easy to ride. I'm just using one hand here and, and being kind of casual. Uh, but I have experience. So, both brakes equal, what do they say? They say, if you want to get into more intricate braking, it's like you brake first with the rear to kind of stabilize the bike, then you go on the front. And then, then as you get to slower speeds, you start to lay off the front and then you lay off the, the rear. Uh, last, so it's, it's rear then front. Well, you, you, you do it at the same time. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> Don't want to get too confusing. Anyway, it's too complicated. Uh, yeah, so I'm just saying, those are the controls. You got the the horn is here, signal light. My high beam is on, as you notice. Uh, this is a, an Asian scooter, so it actually has an option for light off, headlight off or on. Uh, if you're buying a scooter, I think anywhere outside of Asia. The, you don't have this option. The light's just always on when you start it, as it should be. I always have my light on. I turned it off because I'm in a field. I'm not even on the road. Uh, and uh, I, in the daytime, I always keep my high beam on because the, the, the brighter the light, the more visible you are. You know, the, the bright, the, 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 the more the more visible you are, the, the safer you are. And uh, yeah, I don't know. What else is there? There's not much to it, really, eh? Accelerator. Rear brake, no, no, no. Front brake, rear brake. I think they 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 purposely put this brake here because it's less likely to crash you. Because if you're if you're using this hand for accelerator, then it, and then you you're gonna brake with this hand first. But remember, if you're braking in an emergency, you really need to use the front brake. Front brake's fine. Like I can stop here. I'll stop. I'll do a high speed and then stop using the front brake only on grass. There we go. You just gotta be more. There we go. See? I, you can still stop pretty quickly. You just got to be gradual is the key. Gradual. And if it starts to lock up, you, you let off. But that takes a little bit of familiarization with the, with the controls before you can do that. The, but you, as long as you're, you're going gradually on the brake, you, sh you should be okay. Is that it? That's about it. Gas goes here on this one. And uh, sometimes 
I'll, I'll bow down. On different scooters I've seen, the gas, the gas is a hello. The gas either goes here, or sometimes there's a door down here, and the gas goes here, or sometimes there's a, the gas tanks on the back here, and you, you, it's on the tail. So it's, it's either here, here, or here. On all the newer scooters, it seems to be here, but uh, on older ones, uh, it's often down here. But this scooter is a 125cc. It's a Yamaha Cygnus. It's, it's it's one of the best scooters in the world, pretty much. Uh, it's 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 the, the, sc the scooter that most racers ride in uh, in Taiwan, anyways. I'm sure in Italy they, they ride Italian scooters, but for Asian scooters, it's I'm, I'd say it's the best. And um, it's 125cc. It'll do 120 kilometers an hour, which is about I don't know 65, 70 miles an hour. And it has 12-inch uh, rims, which is larger than most scooters. And I, I'd say if you're buying a scooter, the bigger the rim, the better. Because the smaller the rim, the more chance you have of like a pothole taking you out. Uh, this is bigger tires than the, the majority of scooters, so it's uh, added safety. And that's about it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs>